For hundreds of years, she has roamed the waterways of Latin America. La Llorona, the weeping woman, has been seen throughout Mexico and the United States searching for her dead children. Now it is said that a similar ghost is haunting a road in the heart of California. We travel to that location ourselves in an attempt to discover the truth behind the woman in white. Sanger, a small town in Central California, is home to what some call a haunted road, Channel Road, which lies about one mile east of town. We talked to Michael Banty, a local expert in the paranormal field, to learn more about the story regarding Channel Road. This woman was driving down the road late one night with her two daughters, took a turn too sharp, and actually drove off the road into the water. She can't get out of her car, she actually drowns right there. Her two daughters are able to get out of the car, but they actually drown downstream. So the story goes that she walks up and down the road late at night looking for her two kids. And she's basically, you know, damned for the rest of her eternal life to walk up and down that road. Before investigating Snake Road at night, our team traveled to the location during daylight hours to get the lay of the land. During this trip, we came across a couple who have lived on Snake Road for 35 years. The stories that I've heard myself go back to the early 70s. So what's that? 35 years, ever since I built my home. And of course, those stories were founded in stuff that had gone on here before that. Uh, I, I can only tell what's happened in the last 35 years of legends and stories. And I've heard about a woman in white. Yeah, that was one of the stories I heard. Well, about a mile down and over on the left used to be a house where this uh, woman would appear. The lady is, has made appearances down there. And I've heard this from, what, five or six or seven different people? Well, I'll, I'll show you where this other thing uh, happened. If you ask about unexplained laws, this freak originates up out of China. We were able to get a rare and exclusive eight-acre tour of property that runs along Snake Road and, more importantly, Collins Creek. And I heard this loud, crunching sound, like as, as if you just took off and started stomping right through this brush that sound. And uh, it got my attention, so I looked over here, and I could hear the crunch, 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 but I couldn't see anything. During our investigation, we have been unable to find any evidence of a fatal accident on Snake Road itself, but an unsettling amount of accidents and drownings on the streets and waterways surrounding the area, taking many lives. And that's why, like at Avocado Lake, nobody stays after dark because there's also a woman up there that appears after dark, and they're just terrified. Avocado Lake is located about 10 miles north of Snake Road, and the same water flows from the lake downstream into Collins Creek. There are frequent drownings during the summer months in Avocado Lake, and the woman in white has reportedly been seen at the shores of this lake as well. It makes sense that the spirit roams the banks of Avocado Lake, the Kings River, and its many tributaries, including Collins Creek, which runs along Snake Road. And people have said they've actually seen a woman in a white dress walking up and down the road late at night. One story I heard once was um, this, this couple was driving down the road and the passenger, she was this real sense of dread about her. So she's telling her friend, hey, you know, drive faster, drive faster, I want you out of here. So the story is, if you're actually walking down the body of water where she's at and you see her and you actually call out to her, she's gonna grab you by the leg and basically yank you in the water with her.
Hey, how's it going? Hey, John, good how are you doing? Good to see you. You guys ready for this? Oh, yeah. All right. The team split up to explore the vast area, while John, Lisa, and myself hiked through the brush along Collins Creek. Jeff and Wes headed out on the trail to walk Snake Road. You can certainly understand why this is so creepy. Yeah. It really is like a haunted forest. Although we don't witness any signs of the woman in white, there is still a feeling of eeriness. The night is quiet, and besides our lanterns, the only light comes from the moon and stars. Oh, thank goodness, uh, Snake Road. Yay. Yeah, I'm relieved now. <laughs> Supposed to be, I, I think it's actually down the road that way. That way? Because they were pointing that way. It's a good thing she's lady in white, not black, because we wouldn't be able to see her. <laughs> The entire team into the night on an old wooden bridge that crosses Collins Creek. Lights out, watching and listening in total darkness. While sitting on the bridge, Lisa sees a white light quickly pass across one end. At the same time, Jeff hears a noise come from the same direction. I don't know. There was... Did you hear it too, Jeff? Yeah. There was something. I don't know. Just a, a flash <coughs> behind you. I could hear the trees break. But now I can't. No, it was just a quick flash. Could this have been the woman in white? Does she still roam Snake Road and the waterways around it still looking for her lost children? This we do not know, but we were fortunate to experience the legend of Snake Road. Perhaps you may encounter her on your trip. Map to Snake Road or any of our other destinations, please visit our website.